Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folani. It's a bit uh, wet in Lagos, southwest of the country where we're broadcasting from. That is to say, it's, uh, it's sort of drizzling. But again, geography nowadays, uh, it's gone haywire. It might just be pouring wherever you are. But uh, it's, it's a generally damp morning. And um, you know, there's always this situation that whenever it uh, rains in Lagos, that's another story, but when it rains in Lagos, Lagosians begin to panic because they say, hey, hey, what, what is today going to be like? But we, we're talking about the traffic, but in a different way, because um, uh, the Lagos State Government, I think I might have spoken about this in the past, uh, uh, the Lagos State Government has formally introduced um, what technology for what they call real-time capture uh, of traffic offenders. Now, I don't know if I told this story before, but I suddenly found out that without my knowing anything about it. Um, they have a database, and I just got a notice that um, what one of my card documents had expired and that um, I owed the system 20,000 Naira. Otherwise, my you know, uh, vehicle uh, documents or vehicle particulars would be on the system forever. No, 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 we can't have that because what if something else happens? And then they, you know, in the course of conversation, uh, they say, by the way, let's just check you out. And then they say, oh, you actually are owing. That would just be double wahala. So, but just give you that little anecdote. Now to talk about this new one, I have with me um, from United Lagos Project, Mr. Yemisi Agbaje. He's Director of Operations and Publicity. He's also a public uh, analyst. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you very much, sir. It's Indeed. a pleasure being with you. Our pleasure. And then we shall also be speaking with... Uh, Engineer Olajide Oduyoye, General Manager of LASMA. He will be joining us remotely. In fact, let me see if he's there already. Good morning, Mr. Baji. Mr. Oduyoye. Any luck? Any luck? Oh, dear. Well, uh, Mr. Baji, uh, General Manager of LASMA. No, Mr. Oduyoye. I, I, I beg your pardon. Yeah, I was mixing them up. Mr. Baji is in studio. Mr. Oduyoye, the engineer, uh, is going to be joining us via Zoom. Um, but in the meantime, I understand uh, you, that little anecdote I gave about my situation. I didn't know anything about it. Uh, the cameras, I understand, are in certain places in Lagos. You drive, you know, whatever. So that's how my details were captured. Not that um, it was my fault, but that's another story. It doesn't matter. And they say ignorance of the law or whatever is no excuse. And in any case, people don't know how they actually do these things. Because I only recently found out. It's not just in Lagos, it must be all over the country that um, if your vehicle license particular, for instance, says expiring in June 2021, a lot of people think it is the last day of June, that they're good until the last day of June. Not necessarily so. The, the particular date of expiry could be anywhere from the 1st to the 30th, yes. and if your June happens to be the 5th, and there you are driving around thinking that, ah, it's June now, uh, Mr. Policeman, I, I have until the end of June. Uh, sorry, you're in trouble. But I digress. Coming to this, um, this tech, re, uh, tech uh, capture of traffic offenders in mm -hmm. real time, yeah, I understand this is a, a remote, I mean, uh, a mobile device. Yeah. Uh, is, it, is it something like a laser gun? It's um, something that's got a camera built in it that picks the offender on the spot. You know, the challenge we've always had is when you, when the last mile officials had their cameras, you know, they were allowed to take pictures of incidents that happened. Some people could argue it. This is well recorded. It records the time. It records their action. It's real time. So that way, when they put it before you, it will be difficult for you to argue about it's, it. It's, it's almost like if there's any such thing, uh, it's almost like a forensic camera. That's it. Um, uh, and uh, what you're saying is the last month officials might have been trying with their phones or with and, cameras. Yeah, and cameras. Uh, but, but there's then, always a lacuna. There's yeah. There, yeah. You, where you, you they might be shaking hands. Out. You can argue that I know. It wasn't That's you. not me. This one captures you very well. It captures everything. The pictures are clear. It must be a high definition camera. Yes. The pictures are very clear. The information is also very clear. By the time they put it in front of you, it will be difficult for you to say that you're not the one. Just like the one you talked about, the... Your, your vehicle particulars and yeah. everything. If you notice, a lot of us, the, the problem we have is that a lot of us don't pay attention to our environment, actually. Mm -hmm. The Nigerian police, the traffic section of Nigerian police, at least in this Lagos, had had something in that line for a while. 
where they've got they've got a, they've got a software on their phone. Some of them, they come close to your to your plate number. They take your plate number. They put it on the software, send it to their remote whatever. It comes back to tell them the date of expiration of your vehicle particulars. Ah, okay. Yes. And then they get you arrested. Of course, maybe. Well, maybe the challenge. Well, well uh, this other system, uh, and maybe you can talk about this. This other system, the one that I was. Um, <coughs> not so much a victim of as I engaged with, <laughs> the one that I engaged with unknowingly, um, they didn't bother to contact no, they one. No, they won't. Aha, it's there. No. Uh, it's, but I, when I heard about it, I now went to the portal, and it was at the and portal... You find, and you find your information there. That I found that information. And if and you decide to... Sorry, sir. And, and if you decide to get away from not doing the, right, the needful thing at the right time, mm -hmm. when you're going to renew your vehicle license... They'll be waiting. They'll be waiting for you. So that, that fee, that fine will be added to whatever you're going to register with. <laughs> so if you don't register, you decide, I, I, I'm not going to register, and then you go on, and then they catch you again, and that fee will, then it gets to a point where they impound your vehicle. Yeah. So yeah. there's really no way for you to, to, uh, to escape except for you to... Because according to the system that I know not anything of, it advised me on their portal that my uh, vehicle, uh, my, my, my roadworthiness had expired. It shouldn't have expired, but it... Well, you can't argue with the system. Yes. And that cost me 20,000 naira. It was a 20,000 naira penalty. And uh, as you are saying, if you delay, and you know, you actually could get something laid on top of the yes. fine. Yes, and then after a while, I impound your vehicle. At the same time, I think you could, um, you, you could contest it. You, you could contest it. Uh, yes, yes, you could. But you, then, yes, you, you know, it won't be the easiest of tasks. It won't be the easiest task. So you, because you've got other challenges that you're facing, why would you want to go that route to the point where mm. you are making... I've got friends who I may... I am registered as a last man mayor. I became a last man mayor about 11 years ago, mm -hmm. more than. I think my number is 14, 17 you see, or something. I am one too. <laughs> Are you see now? And it cost me nevertheless. <laughs> I, I'm telling you. And I, and, I have always, and I have always done my little bit for last man. Mm -hmm. From the days of uh, uh, Mr. Brian when he was the GM, to Mr. Wale Musa, now to Mr. Odudio, even the people here, even when I uh, was the boss before Mr. Brian was there. You know, we were, it was for us to just make these sacrifices for Lagos State. Not because we are Lagos State indigenous, but because we live in Lagos. And we, we believe that when we have a sane environment, it helps us. It helps our health. Yeah, yeah. You know? There have been times and also that, being of public service, yeah, right, public, Yes, you understand? So we decided to join. Myself and my younger brother, we joined. Mr. Usman was the man that tutored us and taught us how to handle situations. That, but you see, it still didn't give me the right to break traffic rules. Of course not. I have never not. driven on, on BRT lane before. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I'm sure within the system that we have, if I drive on it and I am arrested, by the time I mention one or two people, I'm sure they will let me go. Do which, you understand? Which is not supposed which to be. Which is not supposed to be. I don't want to be part of that. Mm -hmm. So, but you are saying that you've taken it upon yourself upon myself, to be compliant. To be compliant to mm -hmm. the minimal. Well, again, point. this no doubt is what Lagos State wants to encourage. Uh, um, because uh, this is real-time capture you know, uh, as it is happening, uh, well, that will depend on if there happens to be an official with the, one of those mobile devices around, yeah. right? So um, it's like they they will capture this. Now, what's going to happen? They're going to the data is going to be forwarded, will be downloaded automatically. Is it like will people take photos on their phones and um, mm. it's uploaded to their photos on you know on the internet if if they set their phone like that? I I, 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 I still don't have the full details on it, but one thing I know. Okay, for Mr. Sure, I'm sure, Mr. Uh, Mr. Yeah, but one Mr. thing, Mr. I, one thing I'm sure that since they already have a database, mm -hmm. I'm sure remotely it will go there. I see. I'm sure it, it, because at this point we cannot be having something that is still very human related that we will want the last month which I'm after using it is still the one documenting it no, 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 no. distortion comes along the line it probably will yeah you understand uh, so i think by this level it should be the one that goes remotely into the server into their server where when there are issues when they are ready to punish the offender they bring out they just go to the server bring out these things and then you you see everything that you won't be able to deny that it wasn't you or anything we've seen these things abroad it's not so difficult for us to do, it's just the will to do it that we have not had for so long, and gradually we are getting there. Well, um, you know, I said it's not really so much about traffic this morning, but in a sense, it is. If we're talking about this technological initiative, uh, that was what the uh, Minister of, uh, I mean, the uh, Commissioner for Transportation was explaining it in yes, the yes, press yes. Um, when he did the briefing yesterday. Um, it, it's about getting everybody, because people are complaining in Lagos State 
uh, I saw a statement by the Commissioner for Information, Mr. Motosho, uh, explaining the woes that drivers are you know, uh, they're experiencing yeah. right now. Yes, we are. All over Lagos, we with Apapa being the worst, argu yes. not yes. even arguably, yes. with Apapa yes. yes. being the worst, yes. Yes. you know. Yes. Yes. And um, he was explaining that, well, uh, you know, you, you complained, uh, and um, we, we listened. At that time of the complaint, it was that um, you're not doing anything. Well, now we're doing something, and so please bear with yes. us. And uh, I, I, I heard all of that um, kind of explanation. But as soon as we can get hold of Mr. I mean, yeah. Engineer, uh, or do you, uh, yeah. which would be very shortly, um, he'll probably explain the technicalities of how this is going to work. Um, I think him having launched it yesterday, we can take it for granted that the system is, is running obviously, now, right? Obviously. If someone, Mr. Dio, is someone that I know personally, I... Somewhere on the island, and um, we play football together. You know, I don't. I, I, you know, I used to come there. I, I was not a member of that football club, but I used to come and play with them. So we had him, and I know he's, he's someone that is always very, very upright when it comes to delivering. So I'm sure by the time he comes up, he'll be able to explain to us more and everything. But we can see the way Lagos State is going. Mm. The truth about it is, I'm a student of transport. I did transportation as my as my postgraduate course in Ogun State University. And um, I, I did a term, a, a term paper on traffic. And I found out that the first major cause of traffic is bad driving. Okay. It is the number one. You have a three-lane road. Someone is coming at the extreme. He's going, to the, he's going to go to the service lane on the right. But he's still at the extreme up to the last point of going to the service lane. By the time it turns, it's delaying the traffic flow of a population there's a very, a very high population where cars arrive at the same spot maybe in less than one second. Yeah, I know. I you know? know, and by the time that builds up, using let me give you an example, using Antony Bypass as an example. You're coming all the way from Ojota. You're still staying at the extreme lane. By the time you get to Idiroko, you have not moved to the right side of the, of the main express. You're still staying on the extreme left side. And then when you get to that corner, you want to come in and then go to Oshodi. That alone will cause traffic as far as getting to, to Ojota. Yeah, it, it goes back to um, driving habits in Lagos that bad. it must be said are not um, <coughs> exemplary. Um, people seem to have a mind of their own in terms of what they think traffic regulations, driving regulations, driving conventions uh, have to be. Take, for instance, um, uh, since we brought it up, take, for instance, the traffic light in front of um, Governor Sanwolu's office. Well, not so much in front, but closest yeah, to him there. Know, you know that one. And um, as you know, there are two lanes in Guena. One of them, you know, you, the traffic controls it. The other one is for you to make a left uh, in case you want to go towards, um, you know, that, uh, uh, that particular uh, yeah, room, yeah, as you know. Yeah. Now, what you find is that a lot of people will take that particular lane, even though they intend to go right. Yes. Maybe hoping that by the time they approach, the light will, might, will turn green, they'll then be able to continue, rather than going to take the queue. And um, when it know. isn't changing, they're just going to stop and wait for it to change, thereby blocking people who wanted to use that free lane and to go towards Eleganza uh, and, and that kind of that's thing. It. And we're naturally impatient. We're okay. naturally very impatient. You know, I always tell them, um, I always tell my friends and people I engage on these issues. Okay. W one moment, please. Uh, we, uh, we'll take a commercial break. Stay with us, please. We'll be right back, and we're expecting to speak with the general manager of LASMA, engineer Olajide Oduyoye. Okay, welcome back. And um, we're in studio here with um, Mr. Yemisi Abaji, who is of um, actually N uh, United uh, Lagos Project, and he's director of operations and publicity there. And as I said before, he's also a public analyst. But we're talking about this event of Lagos launching the Commissioner uh, for Transportation, you know, uh, at the uh, launch yesterday, had said that this was an initiative. It's a mobile device we hear. And as soon as we can get hold of um, Engineer Oduyoye, uh, well, he's an engineer, and so he shouldn't be having technical problems with uh, Zoom. I mean, how does an engineer have technical problems with Zoom? <laughs> No, that was a joke, Mr. Dewey. Don't because of that vex. Still come on. Um, but we have in studio with us uh, Mr. Agbaje here. And also, uh, we, we've opened the lines just in case anybody um, has experienced both the existing system uh, that I spoke about myself 
Uh, there's one that I d only God knows where those cameras are mounted, but they are mounted, and they seem to be, they, they must be HD, uh, high-definition cameras, because I told you my experience. I didn't know anything about it. I have since found out that quite a number of people have also, um, I won't say fall victim. I also ha I'll just say have been recorded as well and had to fork over uh, 20,000 Naira, uh, which is uh, the fine. And since they don't talk to you, they don't tell you anything, it just goes on their records. Uh, I don't think many Lagosians want to have such a record because someday, one day will be one day and you'll have to talk with them and they'll probably run your number uh, as you see them do in American films. Uh, police will run your number and come back with, oh, he has this, this, and that against him. Uh, I, I'm just imagining that that, yeah. is, that is where we're going. That's where we're going to go to. Okay, uh, Mazi, uh, good morning. Thank you for calling in. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, our guest in the studio. Yes. So, this is what we are doing in Lagos, so I don't know if it is the same in Abia. The technology the government is talking about tracking down the offender is a record of the But the question now is this, how do we sustain it? Because if you check very well, you see that outside Nigeria, let's say for like point A and point B, the crime committed in point A, before you get to point B, you are being tracked and you are apprehended. Yes. But the question is, do we have the facilities on ground on this United level and to make sure it works like that? Mm -hmm. Because if we want that, if that system operates, Mr. Yoda Betu, all this reckless driving, uh, operated accident, it will not happen again. Because yeah. Mr. A, who, 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 who commits crime from A point, you know that by the time you get to point B, guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Mazi, thank you for calling in. Uh, okay. Ma Mazi, thank you for calling in. Uh, I wonder, I think what Mazi is saying, I understand it perfectly, but I don't know if the emphasis of this is, um, you know, uh, crime and uh, police monitoring. I imagine the police will have their own parallel system. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing that. This is about traffic management. Yeah, it's about and, um, uh, But the, uh, talking about what Mazi also spoke about there, uh, yeah, what if it happens here and, you know, uh, maybe by the time you get to the next station, I, I don't know that it's on that level. They will just record an infraction. An infraction, yeah. It's an infraction, and um, as soon as we can get hold of Engineer Oduyoye, I want to know from him if, um, because the difference between that which exists now, which seems to be capturing your plates, it must be high definition, yeah. because I, I didn't see anybody get in front of me and capture my plate. Mm -hmm. So either they're embedded in the road there somewhere, or embedded at traffic light, only Lord knows. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They captured my number and a number of, a, a lot of other people who said to me, they also had the same experience. Now, that's the extent of that. But in terms of uh, being able to now intercept at the next, at, at the next place, uh, I, I don't know about that. It, do, I don't think it's what, it, what it, that, is, that is not what this is meant to uh, achieve. Indeed. Let, let me take another call that has come in from uh, Maryland, I believe. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, please, please go yeah, ahead. What, the, the, latest, the, the topic you're discussing is a very lovely one. But my, my fear or my instinct is what's going to happen to Kekedna, Pep, and Okada? How many of them are registered that if they did the traffic or or saying whatever, are they going to be, are they going to be served the letter of um, whatever they're going to serve and how are they going to pay if they actually break the um, traffic road? Mm -hmm. I'm, talking of, I'm not talking about commercial drivers, I'm not talking about the buses, I'm talking about Naped and Okada. Yes, I understand you. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling in. Um, now, this is a question that the general manager of LASMA is going to be able to respond to uh, best. Yes. But borrowing a bit maybe i don't know how far i can do that but borrowing a bit from the personal experience i had um they the system will deal with the person that is registered as the owner of the vehicle so whoever is registered with um lagos state government as the owner of that vehicle and kekena pepper or even any motorcycle has to be registered to be on the road legally so that if it was the one that affected me, that I don't know how they caught my plates, um, it will probably go to the owner. So the owner will know who he gave the motor, the, the thing to, who he gave the napep or the motorcycle or uh, any other vehicle to, 
Uh, he is the person that's going to know about the fine. I understand they will even just text you and you'll just see that um, you, you need to address this whole matter. Okay, you can see the picture there of um, engineer Olajide Oduyo, your general manager, Lasma. Uh, okay, how are you, sir? Good morning. Good morning to you. How are you? Very, very well, thank you. Uh, now, uh, tell us about, we've been trying to do without you. It's not very easy, but thank God you're now here. Uh, th this... Um, right. This, this techno, techni, technology initiative for real-time capture of uh, traffic offenders, we've been coming up with our own devices. Now, you tell us, uh, it, I understand it's a mobile device, and I want you to tell us how it is different from something that exists already uh, where you don't even know they've captured your, 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 your details, and they, you just get a text that um, you need to address something. Is this building on that? Or is this separate from that? No, I think you already answered the question. Yes, it is building on what is the existing. And basically, you've already mentioned it from when you were talking. Maybe you didn't realize I was listening to everything that was said. And I'm, I'm surprised you're not even working for last mile or the government itself. Basically, um, to eat a nail on the head is just to have enough evidence that a contravention has taken place. It's not different from static camera or even mobile camera. So we have mobile cameras that will be in vehicles that will be, uh, that, will be that should be driven around and just capture incidences. And then you have static cameras all over the place. And then you would have this mobile thing that will be with persons that will be mobile. So if I was given that um, gadget, I would go to a place, for example, to Zuman Badiway, where I know. A lot of motorists like to jump to red light, and I'll go and capture offenders there. So when we send you a penalty charge notice, and you keep on getting that, the next day you would not do the same thing. And that is where the government is going, to change attitude on the road. There are too many violations that are creating the traffic havoc that we have, and the narrative needs to change. And that's where we're going with it. There's nothing new. It's just to reduce any argument and someone not claiming responsibility or not wanting to accept the consequences of the actions of either them or the people that have placed um, authority on their property, which is their vehicle. Okay, now when, when such an incident happens, and um, I, I think you've sort of separated it for us, when such an incident happens, can the uh, driver, uh, I mean, can, can, can the, he or she protest that, you know, uh, uh, I, I want to contest the issue, uh, I don't believe this, you are right. I don't believe the system is right. I mean, I'm just covering all the bases now. Yes, of course, because the the way the law works at the moment is, if you are accused of contravening any traffic law, the first thing is that is brought to the notice of the owner of the vehicle. And then the evidence is also there to tell you, this is why you are being accused. Now, if you have, maybe from your point of view or the driver, they have some kind of reason or excuse, your right is to go and explain that to a magistrate court. Okay. So when you get to a magistrate court, you will go and make your case. Alternatively, if you believe that the evidence is so clear cut and you do not have sufficient grounds to go and challenge the accusation, mm -hmm. You can now opt to pay the requisite fine ap applicable to the specific offense or offenses. Okay. Now, now talking about these fines, um, I, I mentioned that I am aware there is a 20,000 Naira fine. I, is that the only fine or is there, are there a range of fines? Oh, there are ranges of fines. The minimum is 20,000. And then you have 30,000. And even the 20,000 could also be for first offender. And then there's a different amount for second offender, for, for second offense. And there are even jail terms open. But that is up to the magistrate to decide or to interpret. I or see. there are fines going up to for feature of your vehicle. So if you want to put a value on that, so if your vehicle costs you 20 million naira, and then you drive against traffic, what is popularly known as one way, then you would forfeit that vehicle, to the, and the value of the vehicle is 20 million. So you can just ring that. And the reason why that is so steep is because the, the, the spate of people 
driving against traffic just because they're in a hurry is just too much and it is too dangerous for other road users. It is. And that is why the government is saying that this particular attitude needs to change. Yeah, I hear you. Now, in, in I, I just. But unfortunately, we have motorists who believe that uh, it is up to them to determine um, what they find or the punishment should be for each traffic <laughs> offense. No, 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 no. That's not going to work. Government has laid it out. Government has laid it out. You've just said it. I think the people can even find it out. First offender, this much. Second, can you this hear much. Me? Yes, we can hear you. We, we can hear you as a matter of fact. We can hear you. Now, a, a, a technicality I wanted to ask you can about. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. In can you studio. hear us? Mr. Duye, we can hear you. Can you hear us? We need, to be, we need you to be able to hear us. Can you hear us? Because we can hear you. Um, 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 Mr. Duye. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, for the moment, it's an audio, it's a technical problem, an audio problem, as you can, we can hear him beautifully well. clearly, well. Um, but um, he is having a difficulty. Um, he, he brought up some matters there, and um, I, I wanted to, you know, go, because so many people drive in Lagos, I mean, I give you, so many people drive everywhere, uh, but, um, you know, just for people to know, if Lagos is is the person is the uh, initiator of this project and if it is the first just wanted to know how they are going uh, about it he you know he was speaking in there about um uh, a first time offender yeah. depending on what it is so let me stick with what i know uh the the, the roadworthiness certificate uh was said to have lapsed okay let me not say was said to have lapsed had <laughs> lapsed had lapsed otherwise the system won't record it against me because the system has your details it knows the, you know, uh, the expiry date of material particulars. Yeah. Uh, and so depending on when they caught your picture. The next thing I'm going to ask Mr. Dewey as soon as we can get hold of him is that, wh where are those cameras? Not that it matters, but where are those cameras? Because what it does, if you don't know where those cameras are, be, um, apart from what we have now that, that we are told are mobile handheld devices, and he was just saying, he gave us the indication that he could go to Zumba, and by the way, for example, where he knows there are all sorts of renegade drivers. Know that, uh, yeah, I'll get a good catch here. And he could just stay there and be capturing it. What is going to happen is uh, that uh, this whole notion will begin to tell the Goshians, Lego, uh, the drivers in Lagos, that be careful, Big Brother is watching you. You don't even know where he is, yeah. but he is watching you. Do not jump a red light. Do not you know, uh, drive against the traffic. Mr. Oduyoye, uh, I, I hear you're back. Mr. Oduyoye. I am here. Ah, okay, you're back. Yes. Yeah, e excellent. Now, you, you were speaking about various kinds of infractions. Uh, in, in the case of the, that very dangerous one of driving against the traffic, believe it or not, if you're listening from outside of Lagos, they do do that in Lagos. And so the authorities are taking a very dim view of it. Uh, what is the fine for that particular infraction? Driving against the traffic. For is it the same 20,000? Forfeiture of your vehicle. Oh, that one is outright for forfeiture. Of your vehicle. Yeah. Outright, one way. Yes. They won't for give you a fine option. No fine option. No, no fine, op no fine option. I see. So God help you. God help you if you're driving a Lexus or a Mercedes <laughs> that costs 50 million. That is it. For driving against traffic, your 50 million property is going to the government so that you can change your attitude. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I hear you. And um, I imagine what you've just done in relation, what you've just said in relation to a Lexus or a Mercedes will also apply to a Keke Napep. It's Absolutely. a Absolutely. All of them. All of them. You see, you see, the thing is like, this same behavior of driving against um, traffic in other climates, they've seen it as a crime. You actually go to jail. You actually go to jail for driving against traffic. Of course. In other climate, it's not even about the value of your of your property. You go to jail because they don't believe that any same person would want to do that. Indeed. Um, now, in, in, uh, I'm not making, I'm not, you know, sort of um, presenting a brief for anybody. But where a driver and not the owner is the person who, let's say, he's crazy and he drives one way and you impound it. Is there a fine for getting the car back 
uh, or it is irrelevant who was driving. That car is impounded forever. What you do? <laughs> yeah, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, because you just put your palm over the lens. But okay, well, uh, did you have, did you hear my question? In no, you need to repeat for me, please. Okay, if a vehicle is impounded for the grievous offense of uh, driving against traffic, and it so happened that it was the owner's driver that actually caused the infliction. Uh, is there a situation where upon the payment of a stiff fine you can retrieve your either Lexus or Mercedes or Kekenap it back? I, I, I want to believe that you're making a very cogent point. But um, at the moment as we speak, the situation or the law recognizes the ownership of the vehicle. And I totally understand that it is sad that if I'm the owner of a vehicle and I'm a reasonable person and I follow the law and then I, I engage a driver to drive my children to school and then the driver for whatever capacity not caring because he did not buy the car now contravenes the law, why should I be the one to pay the fine? So, um, you see, traffic management is an evolving situation all over the world. You never get to a point where it becomes static like you think you've reached the end point. And so it is for our legislators and those that um, sort out the laws and the changes to look at that and say, do we have a system that would rather prosecute the driver behind the wheel as opposed to the owner of the vehicle? Okay. Let because me come back to that. Engineer, let me, let, let me come back to that uh, because a professional colleague of yours, Engineer uh, Abiola in the UK, has called in. Good morning, Mr. Abiola. Uh, we, we left it too late, but um, nevertheless, we have to take a break. Stay with us, please, uh, Engineer uh, Oduye. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. We're looking at the launch in Lagos of a technical device for real-time capture of traffic offenders. Our apologies to um, Engineer Abiola, who called in from the UK. See if you can try, uh, you can call in again. We kept Engineer Abiola waiting too long. That's because we're speaking with his uh, professional colleague, Engineer Alajide Oduye, General Manager of LASMA, on Zoom at the time. Um, so see if you can get back in. Uh, in the meantime, Ibrahim from Kaduna has called in. Good morning, Ibrahim. Good morning, Uncle Yoru, and good morning to your guests over there. Thank you for calling. Good morning. Yeah, this topic is quite interesting. I believe my own question here is, is my own conclusion is a question to your two guests here. You see, yes, technology has been involved in all those things. But one thing we should look into is that we always concentrate on the organization issue. What about those in the village? Because there are many things happening in our, on our road. Mm -hmm. Really, there is no two way about it. But I uh, see this of all those kind of things. These are the main or catalyzer that mental methods into this driving system as well. And you see the way they do on the way is very, very unfortunate. That cause more havoc in our highway. So if this thing will be deployed into the system, what well, about those in the That is my concern. Secondly, there are even some honorable ones. Those that call themselves a high ranking people. The way they drive the way they drive on the road as well is bad. What what are you going to maintain that for them? So that all those things will be also in inculcated to the national system of our road because quite okay, the road safety system that we are that we are involved in, that we are going on about is is our state. And now everything is now going to the state. Now the state is now for the state to get down to the road to the drafting so that oh, okay. Thank you very much for hearing my call. Bye. Okay, Ibrahim. Uh thank you very much for calling in. Uh now uh, in, in studio here, uh, Yemisi Agbaje is with us. Um, what, what I like about this, and I, I take your comments on that, is that, let it be told, the system, the sort of socio-cultural system we run here is that of Oloye, is that of Rankadede, yeah. uh, that kind of a thing. So uh, there are situations where somebody might, uh, an official might be, quote-unquote, intimidated by, you know, the, the stature uh, of of the uh, of the offending uh, vehicle, uh, but now this one it depersonalizes it. It doesn't matter who you are. If you infringe on any of the rules, you know, you'll be, you you know you'll just be notified uh, because your car would have been registered. I hope Absolutely. so. You'll just be notified, 
that you have an infraction and you are expected to show yourself to come Absolutely. and stay. Um, uh, Mr. Deyemi in Ikorodu has called in. Good morning, sir. <coughs> Did you hear Mr. Deyemi have put you on? I can hear you very well. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, um, I have questions to ask. And I want these questions to be addressed. <laughs> this system that is capturing, um, that, that has been put in place to capture information about expired vehicles, is it applicable to only private cars or is it applicable to commercial cars? Because you see some commercial cars on the road, I can bet my life that they don't have documents. That is number one. Now, all of these offenses that we are talking about, is it about private cars or commercial cars are included? Because you understand, last night officers, I am saying it categorically, that last night officers connive with commercial vehicle drivers to commit traffic offenses. They will see them. The information we had is that they give them money. It has had. They will see them on highways, stopping and picking passes. You can, I can mention buses from Ikurudu. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. Enough said. So we, we understand. They will not do anything about them. Okay. You understand? Is the system is it going to correct all of these anomalies, or is it about private cars in road, so that we can have more sanity? Because the most uh, insanity that we have on our roads are not these commercial vehicle drivers. Okay. We are delaying. They will stop. They will not stop them. They will stop other cars. Maybe they are strangers that take to Lagos that follow them, and they will pretend as if even the last month. Yeah, that's uh, okay, right. you know what? You, you know what? I was a program. You you I'm are better. being heard right now. Right. Excuse me, sir. You are being heard right now by Mr. Oduyoye, general manager of LASMA. Uh, so, did, did you hear his um, submission, Mr. Oduyoye? I did. Yeah, I, I heard his submission. Yes, I did. Uh, would you like to comment? Um. I want to respect his um, observation and opinion in the sense that um, whilst in many cases it may be unfounded, but with thorough investigation, there is an element of truth where the perception of the motoring public is that there's a bias against private motorists. All right? Now, that as it may seem sometimes, I find it difficult to want to accept that any type of motorist would want to judge their own actions with that of those that they feel like commercial drivers. I'm not saying it's not their right, but I'm thinking to myself, if I want a better country, if I want a better city, and the system says to me, this is what I need to do to have a better city for myself and for my children. I will be looking at that and see what my behavior is. And then I'll make sure that my behavior is tip top. And then I have moral rights and obligation to complain about other sets of people who are not following um, the due process, who are not doing the right thing. But if I'm an offender, and the only excuse I can really come up with is that I'm not the only one doing this bad thing, then we really are not going anywhere. It does not mean I do not understand the point that he's making. However, we're in a situation or we're in, a, we're in, a, in an environment that we're still growing. The system is not perfect, but if you don't do anything, then really you're just stagnant. Okay, uh, and uh, so uh, Mr. Duye, he, he, uh, sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Duye, so, sorry to interrupt you, uh, but the, the primary question he asked before going into expanding and anal analyzing it was that is this for any category of vehicles meaning commercial vehicles only or private vehicles only uh i, I, I no there's no bias as far as the government is concerned a, a vehicle is a vehicle a motorist is a motorist there's nothing called commercial or private okay that is only other category when you're doing your data analysis of okay how many what types of category of people are offending what types of vehicle where which area that is more for data capturing and analysis to be able to understand what is going on In so all the offenses and the attitude of yellow buses i totally understand where it's coming from okay to a certain degree it is true yes now, the other thing I, I'm sure you're perfectly aware of is that motorcyclists in Lagos seem to think they are exempt from obeying traffic lights. As you know, they would, they would jump a red light. Um, 
And yeah. you know, even when people, even when the last mile officials, they seem to sort of, there seems to be an unwritten understanding. Uh, just talk about that briefly. This whole matter about Lagos State motorcyclists. Well, I think um, in a way, that question is like, will put me on the spot, so to speak. Um, there's no understanding between LASMO officers and motorcyclists of any kind. The only understanding that we have is that we do not want to get involved in serious injury or loss of life as a result of trying to appre apprehend these motorcyclists that jump lights or to commit other things. Because basically that is what happens. And if someone is seriously injured, or someone loses a life as a result of it, I can tell you that the same people who are complaining right now that it looks as if we leave them to do their own thing will turn against the government and its agency and say, oh, the reason why you wanted to enforce is because you wanted to collect money or they did not give you money. So it's a difficult one. And um, there's no kind of answer that I would give that will satisfy everyone at the moment. But basically, a, a, a motorcyclist that is doing the wrong thing is ready to escape and do anything at all costs to stop being apprehended. Uh, and so you now consider what powers or, or situations does a last mile officer have at any intersection to chase a motorcyclist where you have a three-lane road on the Zuma by the way, and is able to zoom off. Now, uh, in relation to the cameras capturing both the uh, initial system that I spoke about because I've had a personal is engagement the word with it uh, and this particular one now uh, because I was driving a car I can understand it being able to capture either my front plates or my rear plates in the case of motorcycles uh, how does that work can motorcycles in that are um, you know uh, offending motorcyclists can they also be captured of course Anyone can be as long as the camera can capture an image and capture a plate number on the motorcycle and of course you can do that. Okay. And you did mention that once our registration is tipped up, once people are using the proper address that is traceable, that is reachable, then of course the system can get you. I see. Okay. Now, turning to um, in studio, um, our in studio guest, uh, Mr. Agbaje, the, uh, the, 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 since you are United Lagos Projects, uh, this could be a project. You spoke earlier about your desire and you know your body to really engage and be a good public citizen uh you know give back as it were um what what can you do to or what are you doing to help people understand that it's not business as usual in lagos and there's no influence that can be used although i don't know your system might have been captured maybe people have the influence to go and say remove it i won't pay the fine i don't know but i don't think so but is there a need, do you think, for, for Lagosians, in addition to what the Honorable Commissioner for Transportation has done and what Mr. Uh, Oduyoye is doing right now, is, are there other ways that we can help motorists in Lagos become a lot more compliant, which will be better for all of us? First and foremost, the, what we need to do <clears throat> is that we need to reorientate people who reside within Lagos. Drivers? Yeah, drivers, precisely. We have, um, we have, yesterday was the launch of the TMS. No one told me about it, but because I read. TMS being short for? For Transport Management uh, system. Uh, system, you know. Okay. Uh, that's what the camera is all about. Yes. Uh, traffic management, sorry, traffic management system. And it was yesterday that it was launched. Nobody told me about it, but because I read news on a regular basis, I follow the news, I came across it. And it caught my, it caught my, 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 Interest. interest. I, the, the, our own plan, actually, is to help the state re reorientate people as much as we can reach out to, let them be aware of where the state government is going, the things the state government is doing, all the things they are doing to improve on, not necessarily only traffic, everything about the state. How we can live together, be it Ibo, Awusa, Yoruba, and everything. It doesn't have to be uh, it has to be a united. Yeah, we're talking front. about traffic here. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. I, I'm just saying it, okay. it has to be a united. Front. So when we get into the traffic zone, like a, a like a good example is 
the yellow blo uh, the yellow buses pick passengers at illegal bus stops. And that's part of the things that are causing traffic. So how do you stop that? Okay. I've, I've I've always had the, we've always talked about we've always had this thing that we talked about in the about issues of uh, traffic on the road at bus stops, illegal bus stops. The idea is, I am sure if the state can put a law in place where people who jump into buses at illegal bus stops can also be apprehended. Okay, well, I understand that uh, Mr. Okay. Engineer Olagide Oduyeye, um, actually, uh, are you there with us, Engineer Oduyeye? Okay, uh, yes, Engineer Oduyeye, yes. I understand. I understand you have a whole list of uh, you know, on your itinerary. You have to go uh, very, very shortly. Uh, but, you know, uh, first of all, to congratulate you in Lagos for, you know, initiating uh, this particular system. And then the other thing, of course, people are saying is that the sustainability of it. Somebody has called in already and said, how can we be sure we can sustain this? It won't uh, uh, conk out, die out. And because, you see, people have um, different um, feelings about what government is doing and how it can be sustained. Uh, but if I were in their position, I would not worry too much as to what would happen and just monitor on a daily, weekly, monthly basis how it's going. Um, if you start worrying about, like, oh, is this sustainable or not, then you're really not going to want to do anything. And as far as I'm concerned, yes, it's, it is sustainable. In fact, we're going to improve on it. Okay. The target, the target for government is we cannot continue to be in a city of Lagos and be doing traffic and transportation the way we're currently doing it. Okay. So you can't. And once that is a given, it means the, the biggest problem that we have is attitude. Okay. And if we can deal with our attitude and just know that every other motorist has as much right as you have, I am telling you, Lagos will go forward. Indeed. Uh, so I right want to thank now, you very everybody much. Everybody believes that they have their own right into their hands to determine what they should or shouldn't do on the road when I have a right just like them. All right, then. Thank you very much because I was going to ask you to give Lagos motorists a word, but I think you just did it right there. That was the word you thank would have you given very them. Much, sir. Thank you very much for right. coming on, uh, Engineer Lajidi Oduye, General Manager of uh, LASMA. And uh, I'm afraid we've run out of time, so I'm going to have to thank you too, yeah. uh, Mr. Yemisi Agbaje, United Lagos Projects, yeah. uh, Director of Operations and Publicity. Thank, thank you very, thank much, you very for, much for coming on. Thank so you. there you have it, uh, Lagosian drivers, all of you driving in Lagos, uh, it's like a new sheriff in town, is in town, and it's a technological uh, sheriff. So uh, we'd all but better uh, watch it. So that's our program today. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I'm Yorifo Larin. Bye-bye for now.